All right, guys. It is uh, what's today? Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday, January something. I don't even know. Ninth, maybe. Yep. Matt says it's the ninth. Uh, we were heading out to an old standy permission, and uh, on the way, I seen a gentleman outside that I talked to. I don't know, maybe a year ago, and he was telling me something about uh, owning some land on a road called Camp Springs Road. I've seen better days. Now I'm Alright guys, this is uh first time of 2019. It's been a long day, hadn't been going good. Just showed up to this site, one I've been to before, but I hit it with the AT Pro. I uh, brought the Equinox back. It's ring up like a penny, but it's quarter size. Got some tokenage. Some tokenage. Mm, have to get some cleaning going on it. Pretty cool though. All right, guys. Yeah, it's been a long, terrible day. Um, I just left the little field site that I went back and tried. Ended up with a token and a weedy. I'm gonna come back to one. It's actually one right beside where I knocked earlier. I knocked over here, couldn't get anybody to come to the door. Knocked here, the guy come out. He almost gave me a no and I was like, well, I don't charge anything. Cause he acted like, uh, you know, he acted like he was gonna have to pay me or something. He's like, yeah, go ahead, root around, see what you find. Let me flip you around, first one. Check it out guys, the freaking walker. It was ringing up like 33, 35. Um, you can see there's a big old root. It was underneath the side of that root right down there. Oh gosh, I'm shaking a little bit. Late 1939. Oh my gosh. First one! So stoked. Oh my gosh, so awesome. Alright, this is supposed to be the field. And there's supposed to be an old uh, house somewhere on here too. Right at Camp Springs Road, half a mile. Yep, there's the old house. Check that out. So. We're gonna pull in here and we're gonna check around the old house and uh, then we're gonna go to the field. Cool. We'll get back. <laughs> what you got? I think it's a buckboard. Oh, check it out. Some fans to the fancy on it. That is cool. A little silver wash. I like it, sir. Very nice. All right, guys, we've been here maybe five minutes. I kind of walked around the side up front. It was trashy. I believe it was a rent house or something for a while, but uh, we don't have any idea exactly how old the house is, but check out Matt's first good target. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? It says he got a dandy button. Oh, wow, that's a big one. Oh, look at that. Full shank. Nice. That is a big one, man. I wonder if it'll have anything on it. Looks like it might have something around the rim. We'll get it cleaned up and throw another shot if it's fancy. All right. Oh, I dropped it. Good job. Yeah. First button of 2019. That just walked down here to me. Found something with some super fancy on it. Looks really cool. I can see it. Let's see Man, real heavy brass. See where you give it a little kiss. Not sure really what that would have went on. Very cool, Matt. Nice find, sir. Thank you. All right, guys, just got a little dog. Tax tag. 1964, Caswell County. Matt got one a little earlier that was shaped like a fire hydrant that said Caswell County. Uh, I believe it was in 1989. Ooh, what happened to our focus? See Mr. Greg swinging along. Matt's up there by the house. All right, I've moved back to the front of the house now. Uh, looks like I just popped out a, a button. Shanky shank. Oh, it's a two-piece. Is it going to be... 
is that? What is this? What is this? Uh, I'm not recognizing this one right off. All right, cool. I like stuff I don't recognize right off. Let me get it cleaned up. I'll throw another shot in. Might just be a, a flower. Guys, I was just getting ready to put my stuff up. I'm gonna slip my... Matt's, uh, I already had some silver, which is kind of crazy because we've all swooped around the front of this place like, I don't know, I've, I've walked past it at least three times. Matt's been up here, Greg's been up here. It's kind of crazy. Is it deep? No. no? Yeah, that's right in there. Yep, yeah, little rosy. Can I pluck it, sir? Okay, go ahead. Take your joy away. Matt's first silver 2019, and she is a rosy. I'm gonna let him rub that rosy. What we got? 53. 53. Let it be, 53. All right, awesome. Hey, what's up guys? Me and Matt just got permission to this little spot here. It's a uh, older house with an old store right beside it, so we figured we'd give it a try. Uh, so, we'll get on it, and uh, if we get any good targets, we'll get back to it. I got a lizard in my hole. Hey, guy. Cold, ain't it? Ooh. All right, where's the target? We got a top. Matt says he's got <coughs> silver number two for the year. Where? I don't see nothing shiny. Uh huh. What is it? Rosie? Mark? Rosie. Rose? 61. Rub that rose. <laughs> hey guys. Popped up a couple weedies so far. And it looks like I got some silver. A Rosie. 1947. Sweet. Oh, nice cold morning. Out checking out a new uh, spot. So far, Matt got a uh, old lantern piece, old buckle. I just flipped up my first good target. Let me flip you around. Right across from the old tavern, over in that field, we've had some good luck. So we thought we'd try over here. Get her. So yeah, this just popped up. Focus in. Mm. Just a flat button. Got a shank on it. Looks like it'll have a nice little back mark. <laughs> All right, hopefully we'll find some more Studying goodies. on something. Figured I'd walk over and see what he's doing. What you studying on there, pal? That looks like a cut coin, sir. Oh, a weird cut. Yeah. I can see some writing on it. Flipper? Cool. We're going to get this thing cleaned up and uh, we'll get back. Off. Oh. Well, I think it's a button. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like a little underwear button. Cool. All right. All right, guys. Got a uh, 26, 27, 28, 28, 29. Nice chingy little tongue. Pretty deep. We're going to lob it. See what we can get. Sounds like silver, but I could be wrong. The curse of the live dig. It's right here. What's it gonna be? Oh, it is silver, look. 
it gonna be? Ah, oh, just a murky murk. But hey, murky murks are good. It is a 19 and 40. <laughs> Matt said he just popped the engine. Is she funky? Is she grimy? Ain't no Indian. It's too big. It's a buffalo. I mean, a buffalo, my bad. Oh. Well, yeah, it should ring up a 12. 12, 13. He had me chirping. I was like, an Indian at 12? <laughs> a buffalo. Let it dry and see if there's anything on it. It's a. I, I can talk to tell you what's going to be on there. It's gonna be like a buffalo on that side, and then no it's gonna date. be like an Indian's head on that side. <laughs> no date. <laughs> All right, guys. Matt just filmed me getting this uh, Merc. I was wiping off the back, and I felt something stick me. I believe it's Holb. Yep, it's got a little hole in it. Cool. Somebody didn't want to lose it, and they lost it anyway. What you got? Probably junk. He's got some junk. We're gonna live dig some junk, guys. Why not? It's in his hand. Okay. Uh oh, he's got to schmeck him. Aluminum schmeck him. <laughs> so awesome when you get permission to detect somewhere and then you come and you see plugs where people have been before you, like just days before, but ha, they were leaving all kinds of targets. Look what just fell out of my plug. Look at that, guys. I flipped it over and boom. Half, half, half. That is so awesome. It was a screaming signal. 33, 34 on the Equinox. Oh, it's so exciting when you see some big silver come out. Oh, man, that's so awesome. Looks like a 52 franc. Mr. Ben! So stoked. Dang, that'll give you a heart attack when you pop the plug. Sorry, buddy. Just a memorial. Hmm. I'll stick this guy right back like we found him. Guys, just had something different fall out of the plugs. It's shiny. What do we got? Is that a sailboat? Maybe some Canadian money? Miss Queen Elizabeth? Cool, 1957. Canon, 10 cents. The Burger King, yeah. Redeem one free breakfast beverage with any purchase. Participating Burger King restaurants. I should take this to one of the restaurants and give it a try. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? Me and Matt's been going hard at it. Uh, just popped up, uh, we probably popped, what, four or five weeks each? And uh, I just popped up some silver. Flip you around. Where'd it go? Oh, yeah, right there. I think it popped good. I hadn't touched it yet. Man, I love it when I get my special year. 1957. I got a 1957 Canadian dime yesterday. All right. You got love tootsie it. action? Oh, looky. Oh, very nice, sir. I love it. If I dug that, that'd be like my new fave, man. You'll be very gentle around my carriage of my wheels. That's awesome. Good find, sir. Like a panel wagon. 
Cool. Alright, Matt says he just popped up the exact same buckle and it looks pretty much, he, oh my gosh, it's crazy. It almost does look exactly like he picked one up uh, earlier. You got it in your pocket or is it in the truck? truck? It is almost identical, isn't it? That's crazy. Two different sites, 10, 15 miles away, same exact buckle. One neither of us has ever dug. Awesomeness. All right. Always nice to see some silver come up. A little rosy. 19 and 60. All right. More shiny. Check it out. January is definitely the month for half. Just a clad, but hey, you don't find halves too often. 1979. Cool, I'll take it. Check it out. January is definitely the month for half. Across from the old tavern over in that field, we've had some good luck, so we thought we'd try over here. Get her. So, yeah, this just popped up. Mr. Matt said he just found a little back cellar, bill cellar. Check it out, guys. Freaking walker. Going hard at it. Uh, Look at that, guys. It's a, I, I can tell you what's going on there. 